Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to decorate these little jars, pots. I don't know how we call that, you know, jars. Uh, this one, it was probably some jam in it. I have a lot like that. And in my life, I've been decorating a lot of these jars and I have sold a lot. So you are probably wondering how I come from talking about uh, Harry and Meghan and then decorating jars. My channel was mostly on arts and crafts and music and everything which is creative, I would say. And uh, I think that Harry and Meghan, it was just an accident. It's because of the circumstances I, I had to say something. So I'm going to talk about Harry and Meghan, but you will have to be a little patient because I first talk about this. Also, it's very difficult to talk about them because every day there is a new craziness coming from UK. I would say to be more broad. <laughs> Actually, it's mostly from the tabloids and the royal family, but let's say UK. And uh, if I had to comment about that, I would have to do it every day. And every day it's more and more crazy. So um, I don't think that my channel is appropriate for that. <laughs> I suggest that for that you go to Baron uh, Royal Sussex. Or there are also other channels who are really good. And I will write their link in the description box and you can check on them. I will give you just my feeling about what happened lately last week uh, and in May in general, <laughs> which was a little uh, disturbing. And I really hope that uh, in the future the news will be less scary. Last Christmas, on the top of my gifts for Christmas, of course, it was not the Christmas gift. I gave to my son and my daughter-in-law and my daughter-in-law sister little jars like that that I have decorated and that I'm showing you here. I have hidden the names for privacy, but you will understand the concept. Concept is to offer a container where the person can put anything she, she or he wants in it. It's not the first time that I offer that. Every time I offer these kind of things, people were always happy and were actually using them. That's why I thought it could be a good idea for you, for example, I don't know, for Father's Day or, or birthdays, if you don't have money and you want to do something nice for someone, it's a good idea. So here is how I'm doing it. So we are going to do things like I showed you before. I have here something that I did a very long time ago. When was it? No, I didn't write the date, but it was probably at the beginning of 2000 uh, I was selling these things and that was the last one which has not been sold but it's great because actually it's the one that I preferred so I have that in my home obviously it, it remains during a long time in good condition so you see there is some tissue paper here there is uh, another neon pink tissue paper all around, some sequins, that is a photo that I cut in a magazine and little flowers in paper that I had and there is some glitter here and some gold, uh, you know, like something like this but it was more like wax in a little pot that I had. I didn't put some underneath, usually I do it but then I was not doing it. but. That's cute and you can put everything you want in it here. 
I found this rose. I don't remember. Maybe my son offered that to me and I kept it. It's a real rose. Dry rose. You can put anything you want in it. Coins, jewelry, uh, I don't know, stones uh, that you pick up on the ground or shells or I don't know, anything you want. I have another one here. So this is a little different because I worked inside, which means that first I glued the paper inside and then I painted with some paint, oil-based paint made for ceramic or glass. And obviously I did it in 2001. Uh, the papers, so here it is like this. The paper, it's a uh, ginger candy, Chinese, from a probably Chinese restaurant. That is uh, some wrapping paper for gifts, an image from a magazine, and some glitter and paint underneath. And here it's, you know, these uh, glass marbles that we can find in the craft shops. And some, uh, we call that Cern Contour in French. It's like, uh, you know, to decorate glass, it's in a tube. I put that here and the same paint and some gold, uh, uh, gold wax. And uh, I, I worked underneath and I have that since 2001 when I did it. <laughs> it's better not to put it in water because even if the, the paint is oil based, it's going to be damaged at a point. So I usually use just a dumb clothes to clean it and that's fine. I love this one too. So we are going to work on three different ones, but uh, you can see that we can find really beautiful jars in glass. I think it was jam in this one. I really like how it is made. The, the side like that. It's really beautiful. Uh, this is the regular jam pot. This was something maybe, I don't know, beans or something like that. I don't remember, but it's bigger so you can put more things. So to get them clean like that, for example, this one, I just used it. So you put it in hot water to remove the, the tag. And you try to remove the maximum of paper than you can. Usually with hot water, it goes away rather easily, except where the glue is. You can feel that it's tacky, sticky. So this is more difficult to remove. So usually what I do, I try first turpentine or mineral spirit. That removes most of the tags. If that doesn't work, you can try acetone. Usually uh, mineral spirit or turpentine works. They work f perfectly. So if you don't have some acetone, you can try the um, nail polish remover. It can work too, but really try first turpentine or mineral spirit because it removes everything. It's a little greasy because it's uh, oily, the product but then you wash them well and they are like brand new so just you know it, it's possible to clean them completely and don't keep that because it's going to show under your decor i kept these pots but maybe they are a little dusty now so i'm going to clean them so little glass sex or something similar just to be sure because there is some alcohol in this products just to be sure that it's perfectly clean so then what are you going to need you are going to need some glue so i mix some elmer glue last time that i worked with that Actually, it's a similar pot. <laughs> I mixed some Elmer glue with water and I kept it because I, I have not been using it completely. So I'm going to use that. Here is the Elmer glue that I'm using. You 
can find that at Target for almost nothing, so that is a very good one. Also, I have some Mod Podge that I bought a very long time ago. Then I used to love gloss Mod Podge. I don't anymore. I prefer when it's not completely matte, but maybe satin. So that's perfect because I'm going to mix the both. So that is matte, more matte. This is glossy, so the two together are going to be a little satin, as I want. Oh, it stinks. The smell is really strong because it's old one. That's why it's yellowed, but you can still use it. I really want to finish that because I've had that since, I don't know, maybe 20 years and it's still working. So I'm going to mix with that. Okay, Ugh, if I manage to open this one. So I mixed the both together. Actually, I mixed first uh, in the pot, I mixed the Mod Podge carefully first and then I put a little Mod Podge here and I mix that carefully as well. So the smell is uh, a little less overwhelming but still present. Be aware of that if you don't like well, avoid Mod Podge, try Elmer or any other glue that you like. Okay, now I'm going to choose papers. So I'm going to tell you what kind of papers I take. These are tissue paper, printed tissue paper that I've had since a very long time. It can also be uh, some uh, napkins, paper napkins, nice, but it's fragile. It's, it's much more fragile. The tissue papers printed like that, they come from France. The ones that I have here, uh, except maybe for this one. Well, this one I used. This one I used it a lot. I don't know if you managed to see. I really like those ones. It's uh, like Toile de Jouy, you know, it's a kind of uh, canvas fabric that is made in France uh, near Paris, yeah, Jouy en Josas, which is a city not very far from Paris. And um, this one with the lime green and the little pink, strong pink like that, it makes me think of an exhibition that I saw in Jouy en Josas with the Caroline Quaterman. I'm going to use this one, so I pull it out. Is it nice to mix it with this one or with this one? Uh, it's more unexpected with this one. I don't like when it's uh, like uh, matchy matchy uh, Yes, these two ones could be nice. Or we can also use so that is matchy matchy, but the the motifs are different scales, so that could be interesting. Okay, I pull it out. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> Oh yes, I put this one because I wanted to mix this one with this one, which are completely different, but I really like, obviously I have several pages. Okay, maybe I will pull only one page. Oh, this one is, has already been used, so I'm going to do that, use this one. Oh, that is that was the cover of an old book so it's not transparent you see but i really like the, the little bird so i kept it for the birds and the flowers i never used it but 
I will. I always end up using what I keep. That's why I keep a lot. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Too much according to my son. <laughs> my younger son, well, my, my older son says the same thing. They agree on that. Uh, I'm not a hoarder. I mean, we can circulate in my home. I clean and <laughs> it's livable. But still, I have a lot of arts and crafts uh, supplies. Of course, I used to be an art and craft teacher. so, And I've been selling some of my stash, the things that I, I knew that I was not going to use anyway. Mm, once again, this one, what is it? Mm, I forgot that. It's not some tissue paper. So if you are wondering why absolutely some tissue paper, it's because it's a little transparent and uh, that's nice also. And if you want to put a candle in your pots, that's nice because the light goes through. But you can use some opaque paper also if you want, if you don't plan to put a candle inside or, or even if you do. Uh, oh, I really like that zebra. The zebra thing, I really like that. Leopard print, I like that too. That is a very old French tissue paper, very old. I use those on the lid of my, the one that I made for my son, I think, or maybe for my daughter-in-law. I pull it out just in case I would need it. Oh. And this Le Chat, it was packing some toilet paper. <laughs> I used it for my son because he loves cats. Okay, we are going to start with that. And then if I need more, I will go there. So for example, oh, this one I didn't buy it in France. I bought it here in USA. Those ones, they are, I don't know if they are from China or India, they are so fragile, I use them, they are not opaque, they are between opaque and, and sheer, but they are so fragile when you glue them, so you must be very careful when you use those. And the dye, the color doesn't stay, it, um, it fades with the light, so basically not good for that at least these uh, i like sometimes to use images like that in my collage it's a very old one it's not valuable otherwise i would be selling it on ebay anyway okay okay so protect your table this piece of cardboard that i've had since a long time and i paint on it when i i forgot to pull out my big sheet or my big cardboard anyway this will protect that avoid to put some uh, nail polish when you use this glue because it's going to ruin completely your nail polish that's why i don't have some okay you need your glue here and a uh, old brush and your hand and maybe put an apron because you are going to be dirty <laughs> Okay, maybe I will start with the big one and I will go smaller and smaller. So, don't uh, expect to take a piece and wrap it all around. It's not going to work. It's difficult. More the piece is big, more difficult it is to make it nice. So, it must not be tiny pieces of paper, of course, but small ones is better. So, of course, if there is a tag or anything, you remove it because it's going to show in your decor. Okay. So, for example, for a size like this, let's see if this piece is okay. Yes, that's fine. I'm just going to 
remove i don't like when the edges are straight because it shows it's not nice i mean don't throw that because you may need a tiny piece and you will have it okay so easier to work like that i'm going to start like this so glue brush what i do is that i put some glue on the glass okay. Check that there is some glue behind, of course, and then you put some glue on the top. It's going to protect your paper. And even if some glue is missing underneath, probably it will go through the paper. You will have some fold and some creases. For example, here I don't manage to unfold it, never mind, like this, and then with your finger, it's to remove the air bubbles. that disturbs me so okay i remove this i always have a pot with some water like that so i put my brush in it when i'm not working it avoids the glue to stick to stay on the brush and to run the brush i take care of my brushes very carefully because a brush older it is better it is so if you can take care of it Yes, take a good care of it and clean it. You will keep it longer and longer you keep it, better it is. I have to rinse my finger, otherwise everything sticks on my fingers. And then I'm going to go a little further, but not too much because I don't want my paper to glue on the table. Your glue must not be too thick. Not too runny either, it must not go every, run everywhere. But not too thick either, you must find... So you can add a little water on your brush and usually it does the trick. You don't need to add some water in your glue except if the glue is really really thick then yes add some water in the glue so here okay so i'm going to let that dry because i cannot continue on the other side otherwise uh, i can do it like this but I prefer to see what I'm doing like that. I'm going to continue on this one. So I'm going to talk about what happened lately with Harry and Meghan. So just to you to know, I didn't really watch the coronation because seriously, I don't care much about these things. And it was really it was boring when i was uh, seeing the little louis yawning we say yawn yes he seemed very bored i think that he was perfectly expressing what i was thinking <laughs> by watching the little that i watched i said no <laughs> no i can't <laughs> it's ridiculous 
it's uh, it has no meaning for me i mean i'm not a specialist in uh, uk history so <laughs> it, it, it doesn't make sense to me i mean it was maybe valid uh, a long time ago or even when elizabeth arrived there was probably a reason for that but uh, well i know the reason why she was there but uh, now nowadays it doesn't seem right to me and seriously i think that there are problems more important in the world than watching the coronation and uh, as i told you i'm not interested really in uh, royalty and all that it's it has never interested me never i'm interested in harry that's different and Megan but um, Megan because of Harry I mean I didn't know her before Harry Harry I've known him since he was a child not known him I mean not personally but I knew I knew of him I knew who he was Megan I, I didn't know her before Harry so I'm interested in them as persons yes but not not because he's a prince i cannot care less about that i like the person he is of course his his history goes with the person he wouldn't be who he is without his past but still i'm interested in him not in the royalty okay uh, <laughs> yes i'm going to use that i don't know if you can see me because i maybe i'm working off camera so i didn't watch the coronation i just saw bits and bobs here and there uh, and just enough to know that i was not interested i, I found the costumes a little ridiculous i liked harry's costume suit suit not costume suit made by Dior nice very elegant I recommend <laughs> not that I work for for Dior <laughs> but I can support a French brand no <laughs> okay so then I saw that nothing happened to him there so I I was really relieved really I was like Oof, okay now I'm good <laughs> everything is fine i was worried for nothing and he left right away and all what followed about coronation and all the craziness i, I listen to i watch videos about that M maybe that is not one second i'm going to put that a little lower because it does disturb me a little here but okay i will keep it like that so i will show you how i do the underneath okay so i was saying yes i'm watching videos uh, like uh, i watch baron or i also sex and things like that because i want to be informed of what is going on but the stories are so ridiculous that I, I can't say okay i'm going to do a video about that because already my last video it was a little too much for me <laughs> so so you see what i'm doing it's like when you do some sewing with fabric just you must avoid air bubbles not that you can't solve that if it happens it's not a big deal if it happens but i will explain to you how to do if it happens but if you can avoid them it's better so then i saw that megan received the award 
something related to a woman, a woman in power, or, no, unpowered woman. <laughs> uh, I, I'm not, I don't know much about awards and red carpets and things like that. Not that it doesn't interest me, but I'm not in this kind of world, so I don't know much about that. Okay, I must let it dry and work on the next one. But uh, I saw the dress that she was wearing, the gold dress. I'm not very interested in fashion, but I must say that the dress was really nice. And she has the body to wear that, so it's nice. Then, I, I don't know if you heard about the chase, the paparazzi were chasing uh, Harry and Meghan in the streets of New York. And I heard that the next day and I was really in shock. I really, yes, it shocked me because that was what I was fearing. With the trial, Harry suing the tabloids. And with the trial and all that, you know, it's a lot of money question there. The tabloids could be in bankruptcy or could be in big trouble. I thought they are not going to let him do that. So I was really scared for him because of that at the coronation. But nothing happened in the coronation. Of course, didn't realize for Diana when she had the trouble it was not in England it was in Paris and now Harry was in New York he was not in London and obviously it seems that the paparazzi are more aggressive when they are not in their country because obviously the paparazzi there the paparazzi there they were British, I understood. That's what I heard. I heard that they had uh, an English accent. I may be wrong. I was not there, so I cannot guarantee what I'm saying. But anyway, the photos were released right away and then removed. So obviously they were working for British tabloids. And I don't like this episode. There is something really wrong there. I don't think that it's just a question of photos because they got their photos out of the e of the event so they get they got the photos that they wanted but obviously it's not only what they wanted I think they wanted more dramatic photos and they didn't manage to harm them but they managed to scare them and they scared me in the same time <laughs> in the process and I'm really scared for them I don't want to see a new Diana episode I don't want that I remember how shocked I was when it happened and I don't want to leave that again and uh, it's not for me it's for them for the children I'm wondering if I'm going to put the paper all around. Maybe. I will try that. We will see. I usually don't do that, but why not today? <laughs> so, I cannot throw accusation without proof. I think the most difficult for us, uh, the public, the, the, the audience, People who are watching all this is first we are scared for them, of course. We we want them alive, taking care of their kids and being happy in their life. They deserve it. But the what is really difficult also is to watch that and not being able to do anything. I would have loved to be able to investigate with the New York police, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm not Hercule Poirot. <laughs> I have nothing to do with all this. I don't work for the New York police. I am not a detective. <laughs> I
I don't work for the secret uh, service <laughs> and uh, I don't work for Harry and Meghan. They didn't ask me anything. <laughs> and um, there is no reason for me to investigate. So, but I want to know. I want to know who is behind that. So, it's hard to know that they are risking their lives and that we are just there watching and hoping for the best. Uh, I, I don't like waiting. I always need to be in action to do things. And for me, it's very difficult to not do anything. But I cannot do anything. I'm not allowed to do anything. Um, it's not my job. I have other things to do. I'm working, so <laughs> I'm supposed to work on my business. I imagine the immigration asking, what have you been you doing? Oh, I was investigating to protect Harry and Meghan. I don't think that they would agree with that not my job but I I really would like to know who was behind all this because at the same time there was a stalker at their home in Montecito so that cannot be just a coincidence or oh, that was organized So you see this one is more difficult because it's flat here and rounded here so that that's why i like the tissue paper because it's very uh, malleable it's very easy to make it uh, follow the shape of something because it's thin if you had a thick paper it would be much more difficult Okay, there is a lot of paper here. I have to wait for it to dry. I'm wondering, what did you think about all that? Were you shocked too? Did you hear about that also? Or you don't care? I know a lot of people who don't care. I cannot not care. It's the life of two young people who could be my children. How can I not care? I couldn't not care. so I'm very surprised because I didn't realize that it was taking so much time usually I do that to relax and uh, to enjoy myself and I don't look at the watch when I'm doing it I thought also that the heat because it was rather warm today the weather was hot we can say that and I thought oh it's going to dry really fast but my home is a little humid, so even with the window open, it doesn't dry really fast. So I could use a, a dryer, I mean for hair, for a tool to make it dry faster. But I don't like really using that because sometimes it, it damages the, the paper. So I worked on the bottom of the three of them. I made it all around. I had a problem with this paper, which is old and 
really thin so I think that I will put something else when it's dry on the top you see this one but I still have to work on the top in this one so here when you are at the bottom uh, choose a, a piece which is big enough to go on the bottom and then all around you can add little pieces and I, sh I show you that once like that you don't see if it's not perfect but just cover everything yes I have some paper everywhere so then I will have to do the top then uh, I will have to add some enhancements some little thing to make it to make them cuter and then I will have to work on the lid <laughs> and then I will have to work on the tag if I want to add a tag to offer it to someone for example so I was thinking it's better that I let them dry and in the next video I will show you uh, what I did and I will show you how to do the tag regarding Harry and Meghan I am trying not to be too overwhelmed because it, it triggered me uh, in 2011 I've been robbed in my shop uh, two guys with a gun who came and uh, robbed me and it's a miracle if I'm still alive because really I thought that they were going to kill me and it has nothing to do with what happened for Harry and Meghan except that maybe they were these people they were after them and these guys who came in my shop they were after me so th there is somehow a link and uh, it triggered me so much that I'm doing nightmares right now when I'm sleeping at night and uh, I'm trying to to relax a little and not to think too much about it because if I could do something to help them of course I would you know that but unfortunately I cannot do anything except support them and I will support them no matter what because I really like them and I really don't like the people who are after them I don't really like also the royal family when I think that Charles didn't even react after that didn't even comment if something like that was happening to one of my sons but I would be <sighs> we try to do something to help so that's why I'm wondering I'm wondering what is that but unfortunately I cannot do anything except supporting them which I will do as much as I can and I must try to relax a little that's why I wanted to do these things because it relaxes me to do some collage on glass I thought that I would be done with them but obviously no, it takes more time than expected, but now that I think about it, when I did the pot for the jars for my son and daughter-in-law for Christmas, I remember that it was in two times. I had to let them dry and then continue on them on the other side, I remember now. So, I'm sorry, you will have to wait the next video. <laughs> I also want to show you a little thing that I made a very long time ago. It was, uh, I think, for an exhibition in Paris that I made those. Uh, it was originally these small jars, pots, I don't know how we call that. It was not uh, yogurt, but like uh, some kind of cream dessert. And it's perfect to put a candle inside, so I'm going to show chiefly the sides. So you can see how it is decorated so I, I like also using some brown paper it can be nice also I like this one too these are the ones remaining that I didn't sell yet but uh, I sold so many so you see we can do a lot of things with this technique and uh, it, it's very cute with the candle inside I often offer this kind of things uh, for a present or when I'm invited somewhere you know it's, it's cute and also I wanted to show you those ones so it's not glass it's a uh,
can in metal. It's a good way to recycle. So this is not so, some tissue paper, it's actually some very thick paper to put on a wall. Uh, and I think even it's for a bathroom or kitchen or really thick. So you, you cannot use the same glue. You have to use a very strong glue like a tacky glue or or maybe glue for wallpaper, but you have to put a lot of glue. And that is a chromo, you know, it's a small image, a retro image, some trimmings. There is another paper underneath, but I don't think that I should have put that underneath because I don't like it. And I signed underneath, as you can see, I made them in Paris. And this one. That is also a trimming. Uh, my mother was using that. And same thing I signed underneath. But I could have also glued some, for example, newspaper inside. It would be more elegant, maybe. But you imagine how much you can recycle this jar, this glass jar. You imagine how many we, we use every week, every month. And uh, they are thrown away. And it's a pity because they can be very useful so I'm not saying that you must keep everything but if it's recyclable why not I hope you liked my video uh, you will have the follow-up in my next video I will do it as fast as possible and also if you like this video please give me a thumb up don't hesitate to comment if you have a question I will answer as fast as I can and you can also share and you can also subscribe to my channel, it would really help me. So, thank you for watching and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye bye!